Hi, I'm Hannah. I'm from Restoration London. Uh, we run a lot of upcycling and mending workshops around London, encouraging participants to fix their clothing. You're going to need some wool. I'm using Wool and the Gang's Al Pacino Merino for this one. But you can use any wool that is the same thickness as the knit that you're going to be working on. And then I'm also going to be using a darning needle, which is basically a blunt, chunky needle with a chunky eye that can fit your yarn through for your mending. And then also a pair of scissors. So let's get started. So this technique that I'm going to show you is called duplicate stitch otherwise known as Swiss darning and this technique works best on a stocking knit stitch. This technique would work best on the heel of a sock or on elbows or knees anywhere where your knit is going to bend and it's kind of you know wearing a bit thin. We're going to start at the bottom of the V stitch and we're going to be working across the row of knitting from right over to left. And then we're gonna be coming up a row and across, and you'll continue to work in that zigzag motion. So you're gonna come underneath the V stitch. So you'll have your V stitch like so, and you can use these as kind of like legs. So you'll say this is the right leg, the left leg of your V. And you can see this is the one I'm working into but I'm coming with my needle underneath, underneath it. So when I pull that through, again, you can leave a 10 cm tail at the back to uh, weave in. And you're tracing around that V stitch. So we're working around this, this V here. So you're coming with your needle horizontally around the back of that first V. And when you pull that through, you would have just traced the right hand side of the V, so the right leg. And then to complete the left hand side, you're going to go back with your needle into that bottom of the V stitch where you came out of. So it's coming across and out underneath that V, next V stitch on the left hand side. And then pull that through. So your first V stitch will look something like that. And then your needle's coming behind that second V over to the left. So it's coming on the top above that V stitch. Pull it down. And then to complete the left hand side, you're going to the bottom of the V and across over to the left. And pull that through. And then to finish the left hand side of the V, your needle's going to go in to finish the bottom of the V and it's going to come up vertically to start the next row over from the left to the right. So you're coming into that V to finish it and then your needle's coming up vertically ready to start at the bottom of that next V above. Pull that through. And then now we're working from the left over to the right hand side. So this time we're going to start with the left leg and we're going to pull that, put that needle behind, going across horizontally. So you want to trace the V stitch instead of these bar stitches that are joining in the middle. And you'll keep going um, with your stitches, moving over from left to right, up, the next row, right to left, and just keep going in that zigzag motion. So once you've completed your uh, duplicate Swiss darning stitch, it will hopefully look something like this. And then you will just need to weave in your ends at the back, and that's it. We also have two other mending videos for you to watch on the Will and the Gang YouTube channel.